should have, they should have noticed by now. <laughs> Hello, this is not a spring chick. And did you notice? Okay, we've been talking about filming in new locations. And did you notice? We have been. Okay, so we didn't tell you. We just kind of snuck it up. Well, did you gra gradually kind of notice that we're really having some changes? Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Obama's considering seizing the internet for the good of the people. Well, he's not really going to seize the internet. He just got a presidential order that will allow him to shut the internet off when he decides to shut it off and to put the people in control of the internet that he considers are most responsible, which are old line media which basically tend to support the president in every action he does. So, so what's the difference between our um, society versus, oh, no, a dictatorship? They're, they have a freer society in the dictatorship. Obama, basically, he, he they said he's emboldened by the fact that the polls are all showing that the Tea Party and the Republican main conservative voters will not support Romney, period. I love this. The Republican establishment, we don't understand this. We thought that they would rally around him in order to defeat Obama. Well, I got, I, the BS has got a little bit of news for all of you people that do watch this. The Tea Party people are not stupid, and most of the conservatives are not stupid. They know that unless you take the Senate, you can't remove Obama from the presidency to begin with. They also know Romney is there because Romney is a big spending liberal Republican. He created the system that Obama is using for Obamacare. Mm -hmm. He got bounced out of office in Massachusetts because he was spending too much. And doesn't that give you an idea? And aging baby boomers face home health care challenge. Yeah, because they, uh, they're, uh, what happens is is that the, the injury, okay, oh, here's the problem. Under Obama, you don't have to worry about it because under Obama, senior citizens are going to be, okay, you know, all those things with, Rom, uh, with, uh, with uh, Paul Ryan pushing grandma off the cliff, those are actually re Democrats showing you what's going to happen under Obamacare. Senior citizens are going to be put into, uh, into basically uh, almost death camps because you're going to have to have uh, end of life discussions, which means, mm. well, uh, you know, you just busted all your body up. There's no sense of wasting money on you, but here's how you can end your life. No. But you know, that is oh. <laughs> your life so that you can be a you won't be a burden to society because the majority of money is spent in two places in our country on health care. The young and the old the very young and the very old. The young people, okay. Um, they'll say, Well, you're you you have no right to talk about this because you were a shoebox baby. Ah, they didn't want to keep me alive. My grandmother Took my grandmother, who was a doctor from Ireland, but couldn't get a, you know, had to become a nurse here, took me out of the hospital, and she basically knew I didn't want to live. But I didn't go on an incubator, I didn't get special, didn't spend millions of dollars. Today, they'll spend 10 million bucks on an incubator kit that they know is never going to be anything. In and their life. we've seen them do that. Oh, God. I mean, oh, remember those conjoined twins? Yeah, they'll spend money like you cannot believe it when nature never meant for them to live. And, you know, that's the problem. You, you, you spend money on senior citizens that basically, okay, you know that the person has no chance of survival. You just should let them, you know, be ha have a happy rest of their life. But do you throw $10 million at a person that's 90 years old and keep them on machines forever? You can keep a person on a machine for a thousand years and never, unless the machine goes down, they'll still be functioning. And California woman tries to steal a newborn in a tote bag. Yeah, that, that basically, okay, here the trick is, hospitals nowadays put uh, RF ta RSS tags on people, RSV tags on people. Oh, they do? You cannot, unless you cut the tag off, which most people don't realize, because they not only do it on the wrist, they do it on an ankle. If you don't know about that, when you go through the door, go, rah, 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 rah. that's how she got caught. They, uh, the, and those are the RFID tags. RFID, oh. RFID, you cannot go out with those tags on you. Oh, now also put them into the clothing. Hospitals are very concerned about wrong people coming in and taking child because they don't know who's a relative or something when they go look at the baby. Oh, that's actually very true. And then they would be held responsible. Because they were responsible. <laughs> and then Obama warns, war warns women about Romney. Okay, first of all, Romney is not going to take your rights away. Uh, I, I love it. The uh, other day he said, 
it, 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 well, I love what, uh, one of the rumors that I don't care what they're saying. That if I was a guy and I knew a woman was getting $3,000 a year in birth control, I would say, we'll be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the warning about Romney? The that Romney he... is going to take that, he's going to take birth control away from women. No. Romney believes in abortions, folks. Obama believes in all of that stuff. I mean, Romney believes in it. He is why the Republican right doesn't like him. He believes in gay rights. He believes in gay scout masters. He believes in this. He believes in women has a right to abortion. Everything that the mainstream Republican is against, Romney supports. So is he going to take those rights? No. And fighter jets intercept two small planes in Obama airspace. I know. The problem, this is where, um, okay, Obama is doing so many campaign trips and so many personal vacations that basically, um, okay, it, it, small plan, uh, smaller planes are not required to file flight plans. So when they go up, they have no idea that the President of the United States, you know, 10 hours from now is going to be flying into space that they're coming through. So what happens is they threaten to shoot them down. And Church apologizes for barring black wedding, but says nothing. Well, no, because they, uh, first of all, the church is not an, uh, an organization. Under Obama, Obama, would have did, Obama wants to remove churches of existence. But as it stands now, if a church does not want to marry gay people, does not want to marry people that are, are striped, they can do it because it is a private organization. Well, they the, get no money from the government. The other part is when you go to a church, they don't have to allow you to get married there. They don't have Supposedly, to allow. there's many churches you can only get married there if you're a parishioner or a relative of a parishioner. If you're not a member of the church, the odds are slim and none. You are never going to get married in that church. I mean, um, okay, my well, my wife was you, my, you were, yeah, brother, she, and basically, um, she I'm a Lutheran. She couldn't get we could not get married in a Lutheran church, and I couldn't go over to the Jewish church because I was Martin Luther's type. And basically they said, well, your family did this in Germany. My family got through out of Germany because 50% of them were Jews. So I understood that. So we did a civil wedding twice, folks. First time because she lied about her. I didn't realize that the other day. We had to do it twice. I wonder why, why did we get married two times? I thought once was because of the fact that her parents wanted her to have a church wedding. Well, we didn't have a church wedding a second time either. I just it dawned on me, really, and way after the fact. Oh, yeah. She signed her name. Uh, Cindy and not Angelique. Uh -huh. Yeah, she actually signed as Cindy Angel, which uh -huh. was not her name, folks. It was Angelique Bond. So. <laughs> and FTC settlement says Facebook has to share, um, has to let you know that they're sharing info. Yeah, uh, basically another. They've been telling them they can't do. Okay, all those things they tell you don't do this on Facebook. Facebook has been doing exactly what they've been telling people what to do. And it basically hurts their advertising revenue once again because they can't share that revenue uh, info like they were doing. <laughs> yeah, they still are doing it. Yeah. Because I know for myself that I went to look at something on Yahoo and then I went yeah. to f Facebook and it said, and then it showed me all my friends and what they were looking at. I'm like, well, this no, is I kind of scary. That the other day. We've got, we have a new, really magnificent eight gigabyte little tiny uh, notebook no longer does have a computer and I turned it on and I'm going to places she hadn't signed out of Facebook and everywhere I'm trying to get into it's got her name popping up all over it so they were sharing it on this site this site this site this <sighs> site it must have been a dozen different places I was trying to get into that all were sharing her well you have 22 friends that use this site <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how did that happen because she didn't sign out of anything. So. There's a reason for signing out. Actually, yeah. that, as a consumer analyst, actually we should probably talk about that. Uh, here's a tip, folks. If you go to use a public computer, sign out of that thing because a lot of people, just turn, they just turn it off, you're still signed in. Handgun used on Sikhs is, in mass shooting is the weapon of choice. You know, handguns are always the weapon of choice of people who want to shoot people because they can hide them. <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, often what you actually want to have happen is not what you want to have happen when it comes to the people you elected. You actually don't want that person to be elected, but you don't vote, so therefore you elect the person that you didn't want to get elected. Ooh, that's a reinterpretation of beware of what you ask for, you may get it. 
Yep. But this has to do with voting. That's right. <laughs>